When navigating the internet and visiting lots of different websites, pop-ups can often be the bane of your life. Whether it's advertisements, spam, links that you are actually expecting to open up but didn't anticipate them being inside a new browser tab, pop-ups exist everywhere. Pop-ups can be very annoying when you're navigating around the internet and across different web pages, and lots of pop-up blockers try to come into place to stop these happening. The problem is, as more pop-ups exist, they're finding more ways of opening them up, and often pop-up blockers fall short of actually stopping or controlling them. This is where the pop-up blocker strict extension comes in place for your web browser. Not only does this stop pop-ups, but it comes with lots of different packed full features to really give you full control over how to stop pop-ups and guarantee stopping all types of pop-ups on your website or on any websites that you're visiting. So for example, here is a page that we can look at that has different kinds of pop-up styles to open. And we're gonna see how the pop-up blocker strict extension handles them. So I'm going to go ahead and click a link, or if we anticipate a pop-up occurring, whether it's automatic or manually clicked via a link, we can see this extension react. So here we see in the top right-hand corner of our browser, we're simply notified that a pop-up has been requested and how it's going to open, or the link that's going to open with it. We're also notified overall that the website has one instance of this. Now we have two options with this type of pop-up. We can either deny this or allow it. If we click deny, it stops the pop-up with back to our standard page. If we go ahead and do this again and click allow, we can see it allows the pop-up to occur as it was always intended to do so. Again, if we go to a different pop-up style, we see the same request, deny or allow. This is in essence dealing with the basic standard pop-up you'd expect to see on a website and it's controlling and stopping that in how we are handling and going through that website. However, we then come across more complicated pop-up examples, and this is where this extension really shines in terms of features. So let's see a different pop-up example. Here we go, so a different pop-up example, we can now see that we have different options available. It's no longer just to allow or deny the pop-up, but it gives us the different options. So we have five options in total. This trust, deny, background, redirect, and allow. So let's go through what each one of these links means. Trust means that we're gonna allow this pop-up to occur and we're gonna whitelist it for the future. This means if we come across this kind of pop-up again on this website or on this domain name, this is gonna automatically allow us to click through and allow that pop-up. Deny means it's gonna stop. So we go ahead and click deny and it's now stopped. As another example, we have background. Now when we go ahead and click background, what this does is it opens the pop-up, but it does it in a less obtrusive way. It doesn't open up in our face. Instead, it opens inside a new browser tab in the background that we can then manually link through. So for example, if we click background here, you can see the new browser tab is opened at the top here. So we no, need to, no longer need to worry about it popping up in our actual active tab. We then have the redirect option. What redirect does is it takes us to that page inside our current page tab. So we go ahead and click redirect and the pop-up occurs and we're taken to that source. We then have the last option, which is to allow it. Now, if we click allow, it takes us to that source, but it does it inside the new browser tab. But unlike the background option, it takes us to that active tab. So background opens the tab, but doesn't activate it for us. Allowing the link activates the tab and it takes it there for us. So we essentially have all those different options available. Now, as you can see, it's a quick example of all these different pop-up types. We can see that the extension is blocking every single style of pop-up you'd imagine to come across on a website. And we can see that it can handle multiple pop-ups at once. So if you were to visit a website that had lots of different pop-ups for lots of different reasons, they're all being handled here and nothing is actually popping up. If we see the same pop-up try to open up more than once, we then see an array number to let us know that. So for example, if we keep clicking the same pop-up here, we can see that this has eight different variations of this pop-up. We can see overall the page has tried to open up 16 pop-ups in total. If we go ahead and refresh this page, all of this data resets. But that gives you an idea of how this extension works and the power behind it. On top of this, we also have an options panel to come with this extension. Inside this options panel, you have the ability to whitelist your destinations to allow these pop-ups. So if we go ahead here, for example, and we click on the first method and we click trust, and we go ahead and refresh our options, 
we can see example.com, which is the trusted link, is now on the white list. So when we go ahead and click this again, it goes through without having to check this pop up with us. It also has the same for the sources, so the actual page itself. You can trust the website that all pop-ups from that website should be allowed to enact or allowed to activate without us having to trust them previously. You have the same then with the opposite variation of the blacklist. And basically you can say, do not trust this at all. Do not allow any um, notifications on this website in the same way.